while loops. For loops allow us to iterate through each element of a list. They are the most common form of iteration in Python. However, there is another kind of iteration that is useful, called while loops. Notice how the syntax for a while loop is similar to that of an if statement. We have the word while, followed by a condition, ending with a colon. Then we can have any number of statements inside the body. Remember that this body, like a for loop or an if statement, is indented with four spaces. In this runnable example, you can see initialization before the loop, the condition of the loop, the body of the loop, and then output after the loop is complete. Most while loops need some kind of variable that is defined before the loop, used in the conditional, and updated inside the loop. Otherwise, the loop will continue forever. In this example, we are repeatedly decreasing the count underscore down variable, printing its value each time, until the variable's value is zero or less. While loops are actually very similar to if statements. However, instead of executing once or none, they will execute repeatedly until the condition is false. Note that a loop won't end until the condition evaluates to false, even if the condition would be false during the loop body, the loop can't end until the end of the body. When a while loop is executed, the program follows a similar looping behavior as A for loop. Here we can see that behavior in a while loop to count down from 10. The program tests the condition, and if it is true, then it moves through each statement in the body. Then, it returns to the top and tests the condition again. If it is still true, it repeats the previous loop. Otherwise, if the condition is ever false, before the body is executed the first time, then the program skips to the end of the while body. A tricky thing about while loops is that it is easy to loop forever by accident. Consider the incorrect code below. Because the variable count underscore down is only ever increasing, it will never reach zero and the loop never ends. A major advantage of for loops instead of while loops is that they terminate based on a list, so they are very unlikely to loop forever. When possible, you should probably use a for loop instead of a while loop. As an example, consider the counting code shown here. Instead, that same code can be efficiently replaced with a for loop that calls the range function to achieve the same effect. So why would you want to have while loops, if for loops are so convenient and safe? The trade-off is that while loops are able to handle more forms of loops. Because a while loop can work with an arbitrary condition, it is not limited to the length of a list or a known range of numbers. While a for loop is a kind of finite iteration, a while loop can potentially last infinitely and iterate in other ways. Although there are advanced techniques to make for loops more powerful, the reality is that many kinds of problems are more naturally solved with a while than a for loop. That said, the real power lies in knowing when to use one or the other. If all you need to do is go through a list or a range of numbers, stick with for loops. In the next section, we will learn other uses for while loops.